Let me ask you, as a marketer, are you tired of doing the same tasks day in and day out, a seemingly endless drudgery of doing meaningless tasks that aren't really helping you gain control of your marketing efforts and actually get some results? Well, today we're going to talk about that. This is Prevail Marketing's video for the day, where we're going to talk about ideas that can help you grow your business, some tips, some tricks, some strategies, some concepts that we think are going to make a meaningful difference to you. And today, we're going to talk about marketing automation. I mean, it's unfortunate, but, you know, I sit down with clients all the time and or potential clients, and, you know, I tell them there's a formula for getting success. First off, it's an unparalleled discovery and assessment process, one that the entire industry would look at and say, wow, that looks like it's amazing. We have a well-defined marketing sales strategy that we have put together based upon that discovery and assessment, based on understanding who buyer personas are. We have a proven implementation process, one that's been honed and perfected over the years. We have a best-in-class team to execute those strategies. We have a comprehensive and transparent reporting that we can identify where things are and are not working. But the one thing that always seems to be a stumbling block for our clients is making sure we have the right software and servicing tools to help them be successful. It's amazing how often they say, well, you know, do you really need to have a product like HubSpot, can't you do it manually? I mean, come on, isn't that what I'm paying for you? Paying you for? Well, it's not, okay? I mean, it really comes down to that marketing automation is simply one of the tools. Think if you're a carpenter and I tell you you cannot use a hammer. Now, you could use a wrench and you could use some other things, but you know what? The results aren't going to be the same, are they? It's going to take you a lot longer and you're not going to like the results when you look at them. And that's kind of what it's like when you don't use marketing automation tools. What a marketing automation tool? They help with everything from behavioral-based emails to uh, creating a healthy landing page, cross-channel marketing campaigns, lead segmentation, lead scoring, lead nurturing. I mean, it goes on and on and on. I mean, it helps with things like personalization. It becomes an essential component of getting to your marketing sales success. You know, we talk about and they sometimes say, well, what are the... What are the benefits? Well, efficiency and productivity increases. If you are hiring an agency, if you have an in-house person doing it, you want to make sure they're doing something that's going to actually move the ball forward, actually achieve results for you. And if they're spending all their time doing some manual tasks that could be done in a fraction of a second by a, by a software, by a marketing automation tool, you're not getting the value of their knowledge and expertise. You got to, you're paying them to do clerk work that, honestly, they probably aren't doing as well. As one of these as one of these platforms lead management and nurturing you know when people come to your site they're not ready to buy we know that right they've got to be nurtured they've got to show the value that takes time that process of automating that of making sure when they do certain activities have certain behaviors that the system automatically morphs and change them something different so if they go from the top of the funnel and they do enough of the activities and you have that through lead scoring you can get tools like hubspot to automatically automatically flip a switch and they get down middle of middle of the funnel content because that's what they need to see. Now, if you try to do that manually, you may miss it. You may not find it and you may lose opportunities. Customer personalization. I mean, come on. Everybody wants to be, it's human to human marketing. That's at the end of the day, that's what we're talking about. Human to human marketing. And people need to feel they're important. What's in it for me? Why should I care about you? You need to care about me first. And the personalization you can get through marketing automation means that I'm going to get an email that's directed to a particular buyer persona with their name, their information, and they're going to see, wow, it's directed to me. People open up an email if they see in the subject line their name. I know I do, and I know the results speak to that. Data-driven marketing. You know, we track 400 KPIs every single month for every single client. We literally could not do that if we had to do it manually. I mean, we would, we just couldn't do it. So marketing automation means that we can now look at all those key performance indicators, identify what is working, what maybe not working as well needs to be tweaked, what maybe we want to scrap all together because it's not performing anywhere near what we wanted. All the A-B testing that we do could not be done without marketing automation. I mean, it could, but it wouldn't be done right. It wouldn't be done well. Marketing sales alignment. Wow, that's a big one. Because, you know, all too often... The pass off between marketing and sales happens in such a way that, honestly, you lose all the value. You lose all the benefit that marketing generated, all the touch points that they created. 
And because the sales department gets that many times, they have no idea what went on before them. They have no idea what points of concerns and interest and how quickly that prospect was looking at things. So the key is, if you have market automation, you can easily transfer that knowledge. So when the salesperson gets a new pro prospect, they can go back and see, wow, they spent time on the product page. They spent this much time on the pricing price. Wow, they spent a lot of time on that pricing page. That is a key point of interest. I probably ought to address that out of the gate, right? That's what marketing automation can do for you. Now, do you need a marketing automation platform? Obviously, I think you do. I think by now you th you, you've got to got that thing. But I mean, think about it. You know, it's sort of like you're taking a cross-country trip. And on this cross-country trip, you can decide to do one of two things. One of the things, you can sit there and say, I'm going to walk across the country. And eventually, you'll get to your destination. It may take you years, but you'll get there. If you drive, you're going to get there much quicker. Get there in a couple of days. If you're flying, a couple hours. Market automation is taking that driving or that flying and utilizing it. Hate the metaphor, but it works, okay? So, you know, the reality is that we find that many people, and I'm not I'm talking to small, medium-sized businesses. I'm talking about even large businesses don't have the right marketing automation tools, or if they do, they don't have them set up properly because you may have the best tool in the world. I've seen HubSpot's a great marketing automation platform, one of the best, no question about it. I've gone in there and I've heard people say, well, this doesn't work. I bought HubSpot and it just doesn't do anything. My goodness. This was a waste of my money. And I said, well, can I take a look how you set it up? Set it up? What do you mean set it up? I bought it. I turned it on. Loaded my contacts. What do you mean set it up? Like anything else, it's only as good as the setup. It's only as good as, the, as, as who's setting it up, okay? And so the idea here is we're going to talk about more tomorrow, what that setup has to look like and why you have to set it up and what the benefit is. But I want to leave you with some information that I think might help share the value of marketing automation. Now I tell people whenever I do uh, any business with them, you know, I will tell you what the facts are, but if you don't believe me, question me, call me out on it, ask me for proof. I'll be able to back it up because if I tell you something, I'm gonna have some evidence. Maybe it's evidence of past experiences, but more likely than not, it's gonna be, I'll try to have some third party evidence as well. So you don't have to just believe me and, you can believe what I bring to the table because I'll show you the evidence. So uh, talking about what the credibility is, companies, uh, Nucleus Research found that for every uh, dollar invested, they received, companies received a $5.44 back of investments. That comes out to a 544% return on investment. HubSpot, if you think that numbers are wrong, you think, wow, that's ridiculous. HubSpot did their own marketing automation valuation. They did a report back in 2023 recently right and they said they found that based upon not they found but the people they survey found the companies they survey found so not them saying not the product who's company who's selling it but the people using it said that they found in the first year of using a market automation platform and i say it's 129 percent return on investment and in the first year many of these companies who do not have the expertise how to implement it properly may not have it optimized may not have a tweak may not have it put it together in such a way that it works perfectly. But they said after the third year, these same companies found that they had a 505% return on investment. They got better. They figured out how to tweak it. They figured out how to use it. So I'm going to leave you with those numbers. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about things you ought to consider when you buy a marketing automation platform. Reality is not every marketing automation platform, and I think the number is well over, I, I'll give a number tomorrow, but I think it's like, in the hundreds, 300, 400 marketing automation platforms. They all have their pluses and minuses. Some are very, very good. Some are not worth the money you want to put out. We're going to talk about that tomorrow, how to make sure you make the right choice. So if this conversation was beneficial to you, I ask you to do me a favor. Like, subscribe, share. And if there's comments you have, questions you have, please ask them below. I will respond. If you want something very specific and you don't want to share it because maybe you don't want to say, I don't know what I'm doing with my marketing automation platform, reach out to me directly. We'll have a conversation. I'm not going to charge you for a conversation. I'll talk to you about what the possibilities are. I'll give you suggestions based upon your particular needs and use case. So until tomorrow, I want to thank you for your time.
Appreciate you being here. Have a good day.